Hey guys, how's it going? Sam here. So today I'm going to be talking about a few different ways that you might be able to build your confidence with your art. I think it's a really important subject and the piece I'm going to be painting today is a quick photo study environment and you'll find out why these two subject matters align in a bit. Uh, just before that I would like to say huge thank you for everyone that subscribed if you haven't already please do and like this video it'll really help and i have started a discord the link will be um, in the description below um, it's a chance for you to talk to me i'm going to start doing potentially some live streams you can ask me questions i can give you feedback on portfolio work and i set challenges in there as well so if you want to join me in there that would be amazing okay so let's get started so building confidence with your art first of all why do i want to talk about it well last couple of weeks i have been feeling like i'm struggling to get into pieces i haven't really wanted to focus on anything uh, in particular i've been feeling a little bit of burnout lately not so much the last couple of weeks this was previous months main reason for that i went from freelance straight into lecturing didn't really take a break. I worked for about three years freelance, didn't really take a break at all. And I worked too hard. I kind of burnt myself out. I was kind of creatively bankrupt at that point. And then I went to lecturing, stupidly didn't really take any holiday, just went straight in there. And then since then, obviously with a new job, lecturing in general can be quite demanding. So thinking about doing new personal work, I haven't really wanted to do it until the last couple of weeks. What changed? Well, for one, I took a step back and actually thought about what I wanted to achieve and why I wanted to do it. And I haven't got all of those answers figured out, uh, but just thinking about that has really helped. And secondly, I focused on having fun. I focused on working on some quick pieces a bit like this one. So this piece took about 25 minutes, really quick. Is it perfect? Uh, absolutely not. Did I get what I wanted from it? Yeah, absolutely. It was fun. That was the main purpose of it for me was to be fun. I didn't even have a mindset of, oh, I want to focus on this. I want to improve this area, which is what I normally do. I just went, I'm going to paint this because it looks cool. I feel like I kind of forgot that art is supposed to be fun. It's not just a career. It's not just an end goal. You start this because it's an enjoyable thing to do in your spare time. And I think sometimes we forget that. So if you're in the middle of feeling kind of broken down by art because you're trying to reach standards that you're not quite at yet, if you feel really frustrated with where you are creatively, just remember why you started this. Take a breather, take a day off, take a week off, and really think about why you wanted to start art in the first place because you shouldn't lose your passion for something just because you're trying to reach a professional level and I certainly did so I'm going to talk a little bit about a few ways to avoid getting stuck in a rut having burnout and falling out of love with it really uh, and losing your confidence I guess is the main thing so I've already kind of covered this it's basically enjoying the process enjoying where you are as an artist now and pushing through whatever level you're at to get to the next stage. So I basically, as a young artist, um, just straight out of university, I was not at a professional level yet. And I would spend a week or a month on a portfolio piece and hate it, and then start the next one and do it for a week or a month and then hate it and then start the next one. And that was my rinse repeat process never stopped, never um, thought about how to improve. I just thought, well, if I keep doing this, I'll get better, and I did, but it was painful, and I would never recommend it for anyone. It was basically me banging my head against a wall until I broke through that wall, and then I came up against the next one. Then I'd start banging again, and yeah, that works, but at what cost? And also, there are other tools you can use that make it easier. So pieces like this are really important so really quick pieces that potentially focus on one problem area of your art so with this piece for me I was just doing it as a bit of fun and I think you should do that as well but also 
I think you should have a goal in mind. So maybe you want to focus on values, maybe you want to focus on light or color. Whatever you need to improve with your pieces, um, set that as a goal and just do a quick half hour piece or an hour piece, a two hour piece, whatever it is, but make it completable within one sitting period. You don't want it to be seven, eight, nine, ten hour pieces. Make them short, set yourself one goal and see if you can hit it. And quite often you'll probably find you can't, but it will give you something to spring from. It'll give you a platform to develop. So if you work this way as an example, and you create one piece a day, and let's say you do four pieces a week and you give yourself a few days off, four pieces a week, within a month, that's 16 paintings that you can put side by side and work out if there's been any improvement, if there's anything you need to focus on, if there's any habits you keep making that are problem areas. And that's the quickest way to improve is by self-diagnosing your own issues. And not only that, it's going to give you the confidence, the fact that you've already completed 16 paintings um, in that month, which is amazing. Imagine if that's a year, you've created over 100, uh, which would be fantastic. Whereas if you create one a month and they're more detailed, uh, they're more developed, they're more complicated, but you're not learning as much, well then you're only completing 12 paintings a year. And I can guarantee by the end of that year, you're still not sure on the process because you've only done it 12 times. Whereas if you've done it over a hundred times, you understand the process, you understand what you're comfortable with, you understand different situations. And that's the best thing you can do as an artist is repetition. Is because as, as an example, if I ask you what, what it means to be a professional artist, most people ask me, when do I know if I'm professional? And the answer is when you're comfortable with achieving a certain skill set within a certain time frame and you know you can do it. That's the biggest thing you need to focus on. If you fluke your way to a good painting, you're not going to develop confidence because you're, you have no idea how you reach that point. So let's say um, you keep painting and you keep pushing things around, you use the warp tool all the time, you keep drawing over the top, you keep painting over the top, you throw down loads of different colors, you throw down loads of different values and you end up reaching a point where it's a good painting. Uh, that's great, and that can go in your portfolio, but how long did it take you? How do you know how to do it again if it's trial and error? The answer is you don't. And if you don't know how long it's gonna take you, you're not gonna get hired uh, for a studio role, and you can't really charge for freelance because you don't know how long it's gonna take, and you don't know if you can even reach that standard again when there's a different brief. And I think the reason that I know this is because I was there, I did this. I kept repeating these bad processes, these bad habits over and over. And even if you end up with a good result, it doesn't mean much because it wasn't building confidence. I knew, even back then I knew that I was fluking my way to these pieces and I knew I didn't have a process I could rely on. The most terrifying thing for an artist is to sit down with a blank canvas and have no idea how to get to a final result. And if that is, sounds like something that you have experienced or currently experiencing, all I can tell you is you need to establish a process. The process can get you to whatever standard you're at currently, but you need to repeat that standard over and over and over. If you can do that, then you'll start to develop confidence. So going back to the point about repetition, and working on quick pieces. Let's say you want to be a character artist, draw thousands of characters, and you don't need to spend a lot of time to do it. Draw them quite quickly. That does come with a caveat though, don't rush. Being fast does not mean rushing, it does not mean speeding through the process. What it means is sacrificing a level of detail, a level of polish. If you need to spend two hours working on just the anatomy, just do that and repeat that process until you reach a point where you're much faster with it and then you can focus on something else such as clothing or the face painting the face you can't reach a professional standard within an hour but what you can do is practice one element for an hour so that's a big distinction i'm not telling you to create portfolio pieces in an hour that's going to be impossible for you especially if you like detailed work so don't take what I'm saying now as, a, oh, I have to be so fast, like a concept artist, I have to be so fast and then stress yourself out. 
because you have to sacrifice detail, you have to sacrifice polish, and to a certain extent you may even have to sacrifice standards, but you always need to have the goal of what you're trying to improve because you're not looking for portfolio pieces with this. You are looking to improve as an artist and the more you do this, let's say you do it five days a week, you've got 20 pieces a month, then you're going to improve and you're going to build confidence because if you've done something 20 times, the 21st is going to be the same process. You know how to do it. But if it's the first time you've done it, you haven't got a clue. Something else just to remember, if you create a bad piece, if you have a bad day, if your portfolio is not really where you want it to be, remember that that is not a reflection on you. That's not a reflection of who you are as a person, you know, how much you're loved by people around you. If you're ever going to be a professional, that doesn't matter. You can have a bad day. You can, you can be a bad artist. As long as you're focused on improving, then you will improve. So I, I sincerely believe that absolutely anyone can be a professional artist if they have the right mindset and if they have the dedication. Is it easy? No, absolutely not. It takes years of practice. Can you get there quite quickly and faster than me as a professional? Absolutely. If you focus your energy on improving, remove your ego and focus on the things that you know you struggle with, you'll improve really quickly. You'll reach a professional level really quickly. But if you have a bit of an ego and you don't want to produce bad art, but you don't know how to produce good art, you're gonna have a rough time. If you connect it with your self-worth, you're gonna have a rough time. So that's pretty much it. Probably nothing groundbreaking there more of a kind of a pep talk to say that you guys can do it, I believe in you. And you're going to be great, just remove your ego, focus on what you need to focus on, and to build your confidence, focus on the small things first, get some easy wins, do it for fun. If you're having a really rough time, you're not going to be able to develop at the speed you want to, you need to get yourself in a good mental state first. The best way to do that is by repeating a process a couple of times just to build a little bit of confidence and if you paint something a hundred times no matter who you are if you're focused on improving it will get better and as soon as it starts getting better you're going to build confidence so i hope that was useful and i hope you enjoyed this painting process I haven't spoke about it at all i really enjoyed it like i said it's not perfect it's not that great it's not a portfolio piece uh, but it was fun and that's all that matters right thank you for watching uh, subscribe if you haven't already and join me on discord if you want to chat thanks guys see you in the next one